Hi, I'm AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I make a video. So recently on Instagram and YouTube, I've seen people talking about buying REITs for certain restaurants and retail stores. And one that has come up multiple times is Popeyes. Popeyes is in the news a lot lately because of their recently announced chicken sandwich. There have been shortages of chicken, long lines, stores running out of chicken, fights, uh, hilarious parodies and memes, Twitter battles about Popeyes versus Chick-fil-A. But we're here to talk about how to invest in this craze or any future viral moments with this one very specifically talking about how to invest in a REIT that owns Popeyes. So for those of you who are not familiar with REITs, a REIT is a real estate investment trust. It is a company that owns real estate, which could include hundreds or thousands of different buildings ranging from corporate or government buildings, uh, healthcare facilities, apartment buildings, single family homes, retail stores, restaurants. Literally any type of physical real estate can potentially be included in a REIT. These REITs are publicly traded assets, just like stocks, but to qualify as a REIT, they have to pay out at least 90% of their earnings to shareholders in the form of dividends. This gives these companies a high dividend yield in most cases, which makes them very popular for investors. So in this video, I'll show you how to find out who really owns the property of any store or any building that you want to look up. Unfortunately, this is going to vary based on your location. So I'll show you two examples of a Popeyes in Atlanta and a Popeyes in Fort Myers, Florida. After that, I'll show you my favorite way after using Google, of course, to search for information on different stocks, which is directly through the SEC website. Now, I don't really recommend this for everyone. In fact, my preference for investing is to invest in index funds and ETFs, exchange traded funds, where you're investing in the total stock market, the S&P 500, or if you want to get more specific than the ETF of a specific sector. So for this example, a specific ETF that you may want to use is one for a REIT. That would be investing into a REIT ETF like the Vanguard Total REIT. Uh, their ticker symbol is VNQ. With this ETF, you're investing in literally every publicly traded REIT without the risk of an individual company and less time doing research the way I'm about to show you right now. But since I see and have been asked by a few people how to do this, I thought it would be a great video to make. So here we go. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look for a Popeyes in the Atlanta area. So I'm going to use Google, then we're going to go to Google Maps and we're just going to find one of the Popeyes. So let's go one of the closest ones downtown. Let's check out this one. Now this is an area where I grew up in Atlanta, uh, Boulevard and Ponce de Leon. So we're gonna use this address for this Popeye specifically. And then we're gonna go and look up real estate data for this address. So this is for Fulton County, Georgia. Uh, this is where Atlanta is located. And you can use this website to look up, do property record searches. So we're gonna just take that address. Um, we're gonna put the street number, which was 683 here. Street name is Boulevard. And the direction is Northeast take out the rest of this all right so you can see this is owned by GPS hospitality ventures LLC or it could be Cordoba property group LLC but we'll look into the details to see which one it is so you can see different information about the company that actually owns this building here and it says Cordoba Property Group LLC. I'm going to go back and check the other one, which was GPS Hospitality Ventures LLC. And since this one actually says that it's Popeyes, we're going to go with this one. And then we're going to search this specific company on the Georgia website where you can view who owns a specific business. And I have this saved up here. So I'm just going to look up that company name.
and then you can see the details about this specific company um, on their website. All right, now that we have this company's information, we can now look it up. Let's see if they're a publicly traded company. So we can look up GPS Hospitality Ventures on the SEC website. Or we can just Google their company and just go directly to their website. So let's try that. Open up a new tab. And we can go to their website. And then from here, usually if it's a publicly traded company, you can go on their website and you can look for the investor relations page. Um, you can see that this company owns Burger Kings, Popeyes, Pizza Huts. That's the specific companies that they invest in. Let's go to our about page. And as you can see here, they're not really a publicly traded company. Otherwise, they would have had an investor relations website. But well, we can also go back to Google and see, you know, what's the ticker symbol for this company. And then if nothing comes up, we know that this is a private company. You can't actually invest in this building or in this specific Popeyes because they're not a publicly traded company. All right, now that we know that this company is not a publicly traded company, let's go check out a different Popeyes. All right, now let's take a look at a Popeyes in Lee County. So look at Lee County, we're in Fort Myers. Let's see where, let's see who owns this Popeyes. So we copy that address, Fowler Street. And now we're gonna go to the Lee County website where you can view uh, address information and we're going to copy that address here and we're going to take a look at the postal code which it didn't copy it's 33901 and we're going to search for who owns this it is pop florida properties llc going to take that company name and now we're going to go to the Florida website for viewing company information sunbiz.org we're going to search those records by name there we go and now we can see who owns this property the company name and then based on that we can figure out do they have a REIT or do they not? All right, now on the Lee County website, we're gonna search for this specific Popeyes. We're gonna copy the address in the address field. We're going to take out the city and pull up the postal code, which is 33905. And we can see that this is owned by Pop Florida Properties LLC the same as the previous one uh, that was on Fowler Street. So they're owned by the same company. And if we want, we can go look up information about that specific business, which was Pop Florida Properties LLC. And you can see this company is actually based in Dallas, Texas. So they're not even a, it's not even a Florida company. But what we can do is look at the CEO. So we can search this person, Guillermo Perales. And we're gonna see what company he is the CEO of. He's the CEO of Sun Holdings. And there you go, you see him there. And we can look on their website and we can see that there is no investor relations site. So we can safely assume that they are also 
not a public company, but we can also Google Sun Holdings Inc. Ticker symbol. And we can go to Bloomberg site. And from here we can tell if this is a public or if this is a private company. And as you can see, there is no ticker symbol mentioned, so we know that this is a private company. And so what we can tell from this is that not every Popeyes is actually owned, at least their building, or even the fact that they have franchises, they're not owned by the same person. So if we wanted to actually find out what REITs own some of these Popeyes franchises because Popeyes doesn't own all of the buildings. What we'll do is go to the SEC website. So we're going to go to sec.gov and we're going to search